Hi witches, this is me. This is White Raven over here. Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday night. It's actually pretty late at night. It's about it's about 10, 16. I'm extremely happy. I am coming before you and I'm filming with my new camera and I'm super happy. Uh, I've been trying for the longest time to produce and make better videos for you guys, very quality videos, uh, so at least you guys enjoy. I know at the end of the day it doesn't maybe matter, maybe it doesn't really matter that much, but to me it does. Uh, I honestly think that when I'm coming before you guys, I need to at least look presentable and give you guys something, a little bit of quality as much as I can, because to me that is showing you the respect that I have for you and I really honor and I am very humble to have all of you guys with me and your support for so many years. Um, since 2013, it's been seven years that I've been with you guys here in YouTube and if you see my first videos you'll be very surprised at how much better and we have come a long way. Uh, my camera uh, is one of my birthday gift. I'm super excited. Uh, today I announced the winner of the uh, Venus oil. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm pretty far from the camera. Um, you guys move me a lot. Thank you so much for all your emails. The reason for this video tonight, I am making this very special video tonight is because I'm going to share with you, I want to do a review of a book, maybe not necessarily a review, but I want to talk to you about a book that I mentioned to you the other day just slightly and it's the Cunningham's Book of Shadow, The Path of an American Traditionalist. And this is by Scott Cunningham. Um, I hope you guys can see it. Uh, this book is the last book that we have from Scott Cunningham. Scott Cunningham passed away in 1993 and this this beautiful book was found. The, the, all his writings were found in a manila envelope and in 2009, he died in 1993, in 2009 they actually published this book. Uh, this is my copy. Uh, this one was done in 2019. I have the hard copy. This one was done in 2019 and it's the 11th printing. The 11th printing. I'm going to show you a picture of Scott Cunningham. I think it was pretty awesome. It was a pretty cool dude. I love his books and I honestly feel the love on his books. I also have some other books of him, but this is what I wanted to talk to you. Let me, let me keep quiet for a little while. This is what I talk to you guys about. A lot of you guys ask me what type of book to read. And I know I keep telling you, and I mention a lot, Judy Cahiles, I mention you a lot, uh, Silver Boy Wolf. Wolf. Scott Cunningham was a Wicca man, a man that practiced Wicca. But his teachings are a little bit more witchy to me. Yes, he still believes in a god and a goddess, which is okay, it's perfectly fine. Um, and there's some rituals that are still going to be very foreign from me, but he gives me a taste of witchcraft. He feels to me like he will be the type of man and witch that he will do what he had to do, even if it doesn't look very pretty, you know? So I wanted to share this with you because between him and Silver Ravenwolf, to me, he sounds a little bit more hardcore into witchcraft and, and what his beliefs were. In this book, you're going to find a few things. So if you're starting the life of witchcraft and you're starting uh, to um, doing your research in books and stuff like that, in this book, you're going to find a lot of awesome things. And this is a book that you can legit read in a weekend, okay? You're going to have prayers in here. Uh, you're going to have history from the old ones. 
uh, you're gonna have chantings and prayers invocations evocations how to make a circle you're gonna there, he's gonna talk to you about your secret space I mean your sacred a sacred space is going to talk to you about sabbaths about rituals for the full moon uh, I really love the chants the chants in this book especially the ones for Pan or Sir Nuno's I really 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 love there's gonna be some chants for Mother Ecate okay you're gonna have some rites and lore, uh, a lot of recipes for drinks, ciders, cakes, for different um, holidays like sewing, llamas. Uh, you're gonna find all that stuff over there. You're gonna have his amazing herbal grimoire, uh, which let me show you this. These are his too, this one over here. The Classic Guide to Crystals, Gem, and Metal Magic. Uh, this is another one that I love, which is the Incense Book. Okay. This is the Complete Book of Incense, Oils, and Brews. And last but not least, this is one that I really love, which is an Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by Scott Cunningham as well. Okay, I used to have some other books from him, but I gave them away to a friend that was in the need of good books for uh, to start with studying Wicca. Um, you're also going to have over here that grimoire that he's going to uh, share with you the uses of different herbs. Uh, it, it, he tells you if they are masculine, if they're feminine, uh, the energy behind them. You're going to learn so much with this book. Uh -huh. you're going to have some herbal recipes and secrets okay he's going to talk to you about incense about oils recipe for oils the venus oil that we made the other day was from his book from this book as a matter of fact uh, he's going to tell you about magical lore and spells and rituals, uh, rune magic, signs and symbols, and it's truly amazing. One of the parts that I really like about this book, guys, is when he talks about the folk name of plants. And um, I'm thinking about doing a video for you guys with the folk name of the plants, so instead of calling fern, I think it's called uh, man flesh or human flesh. Uh, you know, when you hear something uh, in the recipes of all times, the, the witch is talking to you about a rat's tail or a lizard's tongue or a bat wink, then you're going to know that it's not really talking about animals. You guys probably already know this, but these are code names for plants that back in the day, way long time ago, these were the codes and the nicknames of a lot of plants. As a matter of fact, I know in Puerto Rico, uh, there's a lot of plants that my grandmas still will call them. Um, I cannot tell you in Spanish, but they will say Jerba Bruja uh, and some other stuff. I don't remember, but I remember when I was little listening to my grandmas referring to plants with this witch name that I was like, why do you call them that way? But I wanted to share that with you. I want you to know that, yeah, this book's been out there since 2009. So that is already, what, 11 years? Almost 11 years. And I know it's the first time that I refer to it in this channel. But, you know, sometimes I rediscover some books. And I understand throughout my path and everything that I've shared with you guys. I, I, I realize there are things that I have over here that I'm much better and that I kind of like rediscover them and I fall in love with them again. And I think this is a book that is really worth having and it's something that I wish you guys get because you are going to love it, especially if you're a baby witch and you're starting. Okay, I think, let me see, that is all I have to tell you guys. Again, this is something that you guys should get. This is a very amazing book that you guys should have at home and you guys should go to it not only to learn your basics, but whenever you need any kind of uh, research, okay? Um, it is always awesome talking to you, which is I'll be sharing with you guys on Monday a Cupid spell. We're going to be talking a lot about love, so... That's it. That's it. That's going to be the the topic of our next videos. So until next time, which is stay wicked. Bye.